Hey YouTube, I'm Marty. I have a beach bonanza and every time I take off my friend says, boy those tires sure shake like crazy. So I decided to build myself an aircraft tire balancer and balance my at least main landing gear for starters on my bonanza. So let's uh, come in close and I'll show you the balancer. It's uh, got a three quarter inch stainless steel shaft that's 12 inches long and the height here is about 10 inches and that should accommodate probably uh, 8.0s by six tires. These are 7.00 uh, six is a little bit smaller and there's plenty of clearance for that. I bought these uh, two cones that go as large as two inches from Chop Source for $50 for the pair. And then I used a couple collars with Allen set screws to uh, secure the tire. Put a couple bearings on each end and you're good to go. So now let's talk about my unique balancing idea I had. Let's see if it works. Normally people put the tire on the balancer, spin it, find the light side and then add weights to the inside of the wheel. But what I decided to do is add weights to the outside of the tire for the purpose of calculating the right amount of weight for the inside of the wheel. So here's how the math works out. If you measure the radius of the uh, outside diameter outside dimension and then you measure the radius of the wheel where you're going to put the weights then you just take the ratio of the two radii and come up with a, a factor in my case on this particular tire the factor is 3.33 so all I have to do is figure out how much weight balances the tire on the outside and multiply it by 3.33 to get the amount of weight needed on the inside so let's go ahead and give it a try and I'll show you, I'll show you how I did it. Okay, I uh, had already spun the tire and this is where it settled. So this is obviously the heavy side. This is the light side. I put a little mark here to show where the light side of the tire is. So all you have to do is put a postal scale underneath here. And first thing I need to do is weigh this stick. So in order to weigh the stick, what I usually do to make my scale work better is I put a little bit of weight on it for starters. Bring the camera in real close right over here so that you can see the display. And uh, this weight is a half an ounce. I've got a stick with some duct tape on it. Put that on the scale and let's see, so 0.7 ounces. So this stick and duct tape weigh 0.2 ounces. So now I can remove this from the scale. And so what we're going to do now is uh, bring the heavy side to the three o'clock position. So I just roll the tire around, get the heavy spot, which is right about there at three o'clock. I'm going to put this stick on the tire. So here I go. I'm going to put a little duct tape on there. And the goal is to get the stick to hit the scale at 90 degrees to the scale. So that seems about right. And let's see how much this thing weighs. There you go. So we're at 1.9 ounces of imbalance. The stick weighs 0.2 ounces. So the amount of weight that we really need on the outside of the tire is 1.7 ounces. So we're going to take 1.7 ounces and that's the uh, outer tire weight is 1.7 ounces. We're going to multiply it by 3.33 to get the inner wheel weight. So I did the math already and the inner wheel weight is 5.7 ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and add 5.7 ounces to the wheel now and when we come back we'll see if it balances. Okay we just added some weight as you can see we put 5.75 ounces on the light side. But what I had to do is I had to add a couple more weights because 
the weight distribution wasn't at the exact light spot. It actually, because of the amount of weight I needed on this tire, I couldn't put all the weight right where it needed to go, and that required a little bit more weight to be added. So I'm gonna just go ahead and spin the tire a little bit. And although it may not be perfect, it's very close and certainly much closer than it used to be. I'm sure that one could spend a lot of time and make it exactly perfect, but for my particular plane, I don't think it's a real big deal. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. Be sure to leave a comment or leave a like if you liked it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.